Keeping up with the web. Let's talk about that. So in web development, web design right now, there's something new coming out every two weeks and it can be a real challenge to keep up with it. And I found the solution is to become selective about what you listen to and the videos that you watch. I've got a load of podcasts on my iPhone and sometimes I'll be listening to a podcast and I'm 10 minutes into it and I'm not excited about what's being said, I'm not enthusiastic about the conversation, but I'll listen to it because I'm afraid that I'm going to miss out on a vital piece of information. And I found that that's not the attitude to take. So I've started to become very selective. If I'm 10 minutes in and I'm not enjoying it, I'll move on. They say don't learn for the sake of learning and there's some truth to that. The best type of learning is when you're taking in things that are pertinent to the challenges that you face. So the best way to learn is to decide, okay, I want to build this application or I want to build um, a website that's going to solve this problem and then seek out the information that's going to help you along that path. So you know you're suffering from information overload when it becomes noise-like, when it feels like it's just noise out there. The issue isn't that there's too much information. The issue is that there's so much you couldn't possibly process all of it. So what you need to do is to reassess your expectation as to just how much you really need to learn. You hear a lot of us say web development is so overwhelming these days, there's so much to learn, we've got a design for tablets, mobile phones, TVs, but I think we really love it, really, don't we? Deep down, I know I do anyhow, that's what really turns me on about this industry, is you can just keep learning, you could go on and on and on, you learn something new every day, so let's embrace it. Now, something that ties in with information overload and the um, approach to learning in general is not falling into the trap of a case of quality versus quantity. I signed up for lynda.com and I had this habit of looking at the courses and I look to see how long each course is and I would assign value to the lengthy courses and I would assign a, a negative, I would look negatively upon the courses that are only, say, 50 minutes, 50 minutes in length. And again, that's the wrong attitude. And this ties into how I allocate uh, my, my study time. I feel like I've not achieved unless I've set aside four to five hours worth of study time, but that doesn't equate to four hours of quality stu study time. I found that you only need to learn the, the next piece of information that's gonna progress you to the next step, and that can be done in half an hour. So when you have a window of opportunity, take a side, even if it's just half an hour. If you really focus within that time, it can take you to that next step. And so that's my approach to the learning process is I don't need to know everything. I just need to keep myself in the present moment and learn enough to keep it rolling, to keep the discovery process going. So although we may have this fantasy of wanting to be Neo in the Matrix, you know, when Neo gets plugged into the machine and he's getting the downloads and he's like, I know Kung Fu. It would be great, wouldn't it, if we could do that and be like, I know Python. But where would the fun in that be? The fun is in the process. The fun is in the challenge. It's like climbing a mountain. Once you get to the top of the mountain, what do you do? You take in the scenery, you take a deep breath and you have that sense of accomplishment. And after all, that's why clients are gonna pay 
large amounts for your services because you've put the time and effort in to figure something out that a lot of people wouldn't even attempt. So I hope you got some from this video. To sum it up, be selective. If you've been sat through something for 15 minutes and you're bored to tears, chances are that's not what you need to take in right now. Hope you got something from that. Catch you on the next video. Peace.